What's up everyone? So uh we had Dragon Arena two days ago. I think yeah, two days ago. And uh well we won, which is good. But uh we did okay. We was we barely scraped through. We had some tough competition from these RL guys. These guys they fought pretty well. Uh this guy doesn't really know what he's doing with his gear, if I'm honest. Uh, Cosmic Queen's super salty. You'll see why soon. Uh, I don't think this guy or Adego showed up. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. Excuse me, exactly everyone who showed up, but they had like 15 or so. We had f about the same, maybe a few less. Uh, we were supposed to have Badger, but he was busy, so. I honestly thought we were going to lose, just based purely off that. We'll, uh, we'll look at these uh, saved ones first. So we'll start this off. This was later on. Uh, honestly, Watchdog could have won here if that was not in the fort. It was just those T4 and that T5. He had a very good chance to win because he was leaderless. So realistically, he should have won. But uh, tier one, tier two, tier three in the fort, that did fuck him up a lot. And then we get onto uh, the first time I got hit. So I got hit twice. My fort did. Uh, this happened the first time. Uh, and I was rushing one to one before this started to try and increase my cap. And it was quite pointless, as you can see, smacked the absolute shit out of them. Had absolutely fucking nothing. I did send her a message saying, "Pretend, want to pretend this didn't happen, and then she started getting all salty about it. <clears throat> but uh, Purple War coming in strong. I had, except for this, my comp was uh, pretty good. Uh, did anyone else? No, everyone else sent pretty much what I wanted, which was nine four seven, and it won. And then uh, there are five came and tried, which I mean, he did his gears okay. I don't know why he's got these boots in it, but I mean, each to their own, I guess. And his familiars were, yeah, they're kind of dog. Uh, he did even less. Alright, this time I had no tier 4, I had tier 3. Lovely. Uh, but yeah. He did even less. Obvious, I'm guessing he wanted it. He sent such a small march. I haven't actually looked at this properly. I mean, he's got the correct heroes for a calf blast. But his march is just... Why under 150,000? Yikes. <laughs> Who had those tier 3 in there? Ah, right. One of our players who doesn't actually have tier 4. <coughs> and then... This was a rally that I set. And, uh... Safe to say... He got fucked. <laughs> uh, I didn't quite kill everything. But... I mean, I did pretty well for only having 1.2 mil. Oh, someone sent infantry in ranged. Why don't people listen to what I ask for? Who did that? <sighs> oh, he was a leaderless. It would have been much nicer if he'd had his leader. But uh, he had fuck all left. And he even got reins. Which we killed a hundred, wounded a hundred thirty thousand of. So, all right, now on to the other reports. Uh, there, so it's here. So this is the first one, I believe. Yeah, the very first one. Rally was set. Pretty good heroes, except for purple guy over here. But what can you do? Uh, I don't know why he chose Cav. Was the other guy an inf? He was in range, so that could have been, that could have been bad, but if I remember right, it's a Dago. So yeah, he's got 
pretty good gear, excluding the two blue cups. Not really a fan of that. And once again, 200,000 tier 2, a bunch of Ballista. In fairness, I believe that Ballista is from me, because I have Ballista in... Ah, uh, yeah, see, I don't know why I have 1,200, I should only have 1,000 there. And then another 1,000 should be... yeah. So the Ballista was my fault, I'm not going to lie, but that's just because I have walkbacks in my solo marches. And then this guy... <laughs> <coughs> This motherfucker, he's persistent. For being 60 mil, he is persistent. Okay? This guy, he doesn't know when to quit. He hit us like three times, two or three times. Uh, I'm guessing those tier 3, including the Siege of His Troops, and the tier 4's Jom Snow. Right. Oh, Irene was leaderless. That explains those results. A lot more. And then, uh, we had Embo hit Hell's Gate, which is that big two-bill guy. He absolutely smacked the fucking shit out of him. I mean, I know it's a rally against a solo march, but come on. Does, does someone with that kind of monster hunting gear look like they have good war gear? Like, no offense to him. His war gear does suck. He knows that. I know him in real life, so I can, I can say that without him being upset. But I, uh, yeah, smacked the shit out of this guy, who was leaderless, by the way, and had one tier one rain. Love to see when your guild reigns with just one tier one troop. And then here he comes again. This time, I'm just amazed that he actually tried, to be honest. <laughs> this time, 900 losses, went very heavy range against Inf. I mean, this guy has two correct heroes. Oh, there's a lot more tier 2, no tier 3 in that. Irene's still leaderless. I think... I think I've slid off... Uh, actually, I don't know who reigned in between this one. I think Wartrace came in and sent reigns, because that's got more, right? Had, what, 990? Yeah, so it's got... So I've got a 200k march. I don't know who from, though. Uh, and then we had Scooter, our thick boy, one of our thicker boys, come through and smack this guy. Honestly, Scooter does need to work on his heroes, like, that hero shouldn't be there. Switch him out for... Actually, are there any good... Oh, look, there's no free-to-play cav heroes that are good. I don't know why he went full cav when he's sending mix, so... I need to talk to him about that. Uh, me and Kerberos, I just, I literally just sent what I had. I tried to send him 1-1-1, one, one, one because that looked close to what he had. Close-ish, I guess. But, uh, he got 1-1-1 one, one, one from me. Not as much tier 5 as I'd like, because my tier 5 were wounded and I wasn't healing. Or they were all out in other marches. Uh, good heroes again, except for Scarlet. Although not so good for his troop comp. He has no infantry and yet he's using four inferiors. Five inferiors even. That just saddens me. And then this guy came in again. <laughs> Hitting with 170,000 tier 2. 100k siege. Doing 738 until a tier 4 front line. No leader either. And a green hero. <laughs> you love to see it. Oh, I took literally all the damage. Except for... Okay, I took all but three damage for this one. That's that's lovely. And then we had Hell's Gate try and solo Scooter out again. Now this Hell's Gate guy... He's got pretty good familiars. Except for that one. I'm not sure why he's using that one. That one's understandable. That one's not so. And that one's understandable, and so is Griffin. Not the best familiars, but they're okay overall. He just sent a mixed tier 5 march to leaderless. This gun has too much tier 5. He really does. The amount of leaderless tier 5 marches he was just smacking people with, it's so stupid. It really is. 
and then he tried it again, I think, or was that, yeah, no, he tried it again, lost another march, this time it had no familiars, and probably had even worse heroes, to be honest. No, his heroes are, I think, the same. That Hell's Gate guy has no idea what he's doing. Oh yeah, and then my ult held against Cosmic Queen. I think my ult's still in gear. Yeah, so this gear held against this. I mean, yeah, we had a bit over double the troops. Or just off double the troops. But, doesn't mean shit. And our, our tier 5 count's starting to come up. Like, 600k tier 5 is pretty nice. I am quite happy with that. Actually, it's probably about 800, 700k tier 5. But once again, nearly four, nearly 300, just over 300,000 tier 1, tier, uh, tier 2, tier 3. To be honest, my ult should have lost this. But, uh, I, that's how we are. I was, I said in guild chat, right, we're going to lose this Citadel, get ready for a counter rally. And then I held, and then the uh, caravan came and locked in. Then this bitch ported over to try and hit me. And then uh, he tried this again with a rally. I don't think he had his leader in this one. Oh, he did. Scooter absolutely fucked him up. Scooter, Scooter was really low infantry. That could have been very bad. And I don't know who put the tier 5 siege in there. Uh, actually, I, no, that makes sense. Kerbis would have been trying to get the troop count up, that's all. Probably saw me putting in the fucking tier 1 siege into other base, other forces. Like, oh, we sh well, this is better than that, so. That's fair enough. I will ask him not to, but. Doesn't really matter too much. But Scooter coming in hard, fucking kicking ass. And that's that's all the forts I was a part of. There were outposts that we lost. And a couple other hot springs that we lost. But I don't have the reports for those because I wasn't in them. So I can't share them, unfortunately. Uh, but I may as well do my uh, packs for the day. And then... Ooh, Astralite's out. And then, uh... Then I'll go through and open the chest, and I'll show everyone what we got. I am slowly... working on my drums with Astralite. Because I think having plus 12 Astralite drums is going to be very nice. <clears throat> Looking back, I shouldn't have Astralite my Frostwing Sword. As helpful as it's been and just because once I get my uh, mythic worm bone coronet I'm gonna switch over to a worm rod so there's no point in me using it anymore because then the skull crusher will become the uh, what's it called mix piece because the army attack which means my my uh, range attack is just gonna skyrocket which is a bit out of control. I do have a bit too much range attack, I will admit. I am working on that. I'm going to uh, be building the Infcav Champ offhand next. And that'll go in place of the uh, Codex. Which will get rid of the range, well, the range attack, bring up the Infcav. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for the moment. That'll be after I get the gold chest, of course, which I pulled a gold main yesterday, which I'm very happy about. So I'm now at two and a half out of ten. So I'm getting there. Progression. I actually use the uh, buy one, get one free coupon. And that's what got me the uh, gold main. Alright. Packs are done. Uh, I'll show you what I bought, why not? So obviously, 
53 Astralite chests. I'm working on it slowly. Uh, happy, what's it called? Let's celebrate. Gems, speeds, couple chests. Uh, tome pack, need to get wonders done. Uh, Blackwing, that's the tier 5 fam I'm working on at the moment. He's getting close. And then the dollar pack. So, I think I'm like 140 or 130. Oh, 146. So I'm what, 11 rotations away from an elder Blackwing, which is pretty nice. Um, right, chest time. I'm probably not going to get anything good just because I got a uh, gold main yesterday. But, fingers crossed, you know? That sucked. That really sucked. I was hoping for some cool... Some, ooh. <clears throat> That's quite nice, actually. I think I'm nearly at another purple. So. No flames. Sucks. Uh, I don't know if I'm close to another jewel. Doesn't matter, to be honest, I'd rather have the bloodsuckers. I really need blueprints. I'm like two, two and a half or something away from the uh, mythic firewall plate. And it would be nice to get that to mythic. That'd put my cav set way above everything else. Um. I don't know what gold I prefer most, to be honest. Like, the Ancient Blueprints or the Cursed Skull would be the most worth, I think, because they're closest to upgrades. But that's alright. That's okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, I've never gotten a 30 day out of these. I'd love to be... I'd love to get one. Just never have. I usually get at least... There you go. I was going to say I usually get at least two 3 days. In total, from all of them, including the first lot, which gives the universals as well. I really could use another 100k gems. That would be quite nice. Uh, I think I'm pretty close to... Nope, never mind. The, uh, what's he call it? The boots for the training. I think I'm close. Oh, I don't even want to look at where I am on that. It feels like I'm making no progress at all on that Lunar Boomerang. Point proven. Man, I don't even know if I'm going to use that, eh? Until it's like gold or higher. Until it's gold, I don't think I'm going to use it. It just... It doesn't make sense for me to use it, I don't think. I'm pretty sure the stats are lower. I mean, I'd love... Wait, you know what? Let's check that, actually. Uh, it's under the hoop core, right? 18.9945. Five. 30, 28. So for this to be 30 and 28... Okay, so it's equal, it's still a bit lower attack, and it's lower HP, so until it's mythic, it's not better. So that's what, 42, 21, but then isn't the cav offhand, where's the cav offhand? Like in the middle of those? 49, ah, uh, it's 49 attack, but no HP. So then it comes down to 7 HP over, uh, 7 attack over 21 HP, and I weigh them equally, to be honest. So it all comes down to what I prefer, but that's not the main hand I'm going to be building. I'm going to be building the uh, Champion Light first, and then after that I'm going to build a Helmet. Don't know which one. Probably... Actually, that's a good question. Which helmet would I build? Actually, I might... Do I start another chest after that? 
So this is what, 42, so 56 attack, 21 HP. 56 attack, 21 HP. So the HP is equal. Hmm. And what's the int one? I'm assuming it's similar, right? Uh, 56, 21. Uh, where is it here? 56. So the HP is the same, but it's just more attack. Oh no, this one's got so much more HP. Ooh. Is 6 attack? 7 attack? Yes, yeah, 7 attack is worth 35 HP. No, wait. No, it's... Actually, yeah, it is. No. Huh. Hmm. You know what I theoretically could do is after I get this to gold is I could just exclusively buy the uh, champ one and take all three of everything except for the accessories up. Because the accessories are going to get done last. Let's be real here. Although, I kind of do want to build that other Valor and the two Blessings I'm missing. But I think if I Mythic out all the champ pieces I am I currently have built, I've got all bases covered, to be honest. Because I've got three accessories for Inf, well, four for Inf, five for Cav, three for Ranged. So if anything, I think I was to build. I would build another blessing, which would be four for ranged, five for cav, five for inf. Yeah, I think I'd build another blessing. But first of all, I've got to obtain. Actually, you know what? No, what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a... I want to do a helmet or a main hand. I really want to do a helmet or a main hand. In f Actually, I want to do all four pieces. Hmm. I could just, like, pick those four and then just take them up grade by grade. But then, the question is... Which pieces do I pick? Obviously, it's the inf boots. I'm going to pick the inf boots, 100%. But then, which helmet? Hmm, that's a good question. And then, hmm, I do kind of like the look of this. And that would take another couple seeds off. Plus it's research speed, so it's like, hmm, or I could do another, I could always do another chest, get all three chests to gold, and then, I don't know man, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, this is definitely the offhand I'm taking up, because 947 is the main comp I run, this is Cav Inf. And it'll balance out my mixed stats. Especially if I dual it correctly. And if I remember right, like 16. I think it's technically better for inf at purple, or at blue even. So that's what, 16.5. And what I'm using currently, uh, take 22 or uh, take. 14 off, so that's 17. So it's like, no, it's like 14, I think. The fuck? Uh, where is it here? Yeah, so this is technically 28 because of the army attack. But, yeah, I don't know, man. I also do want to build 
three burning scrolls at some point. Three mythic burning scrolls. Just because 12% army attack. It's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I think that's about going to do it. I mean, I'm not building anything with this. I don't think. Oh yeah, I'm not building anything that uses the ultra rares anyway. I'm building the desert treasures because they're free. Free to play. Uh, that's 42-42. Honestly, I think the Serpent Helm might be best. Yeah, no, Serpent Helm is best. But I need double the amount of Ultra Rares, so that's not going to happen for a while. Arctic Flipper. I think I was going to build the ring. No, I was the pants. The pants are the best. But I don't have any fucking Ultra Rares. Necrosis, I'm building the Spirit Axe, because, once again, it was best. Well, you could argue it's best, but, actually, if I've got, yeah, well, I mean, it makes sense for me to do the champ fees, because I'm going to upgrade it faster. Uh, the Gorilla, I'm building the Rowdy Resolve. Was I building this or did no that costed ultra rares? Yeah, I'm building a rowdy resolve. Slowly. I think at gold it's better than a mythic drum. But uh that's yoinks away. Uh cottage raw, I was building the Lantern or the cane. I was building the lantern. Yep, no, I know why I was building the lanterns, because I wanted a better fucking... Inf offhand. Which, fair enough, to be honest. So, I'd just have to get... I'd have to get this to gold for it to be better, though. Same with the, uh, champion light. But, the champion light... So maybe I should stop and start building the Ghastly Cane. Or do I build the Lamp? Which boosts my ranged attack. <sighs> Damn it. I really don't know. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.